Aaron! Uh, Dad, you're back. How did you get us? Uh, a round of soda with jam and some apples. It's no feast, but uh, I was in a hurry, I'm afraid. They didn't have the green ones. Oh, Christ, ages. I'm away in the head. I'll make it up to you. Ah, no, no, but I'm not actually hungry anyway. Oh, <laughs> such a lamb, but so damn hard to fade. As well, I said I swear I couldn't eat if I tried. <laughs> what else do you bring back? Um, mm, just the basics. Some clothes and some things for 80. Oh, damn that boy, still hadn't been home this morning. My note for him didn't as much as bolts the whole damn day. Do you think he's safe? Aye, aye. He'd have been out getting smashed with his mates. I'm sure he's all right, though. Had my old pistol in his room, too. Your what? Shh, baby girl, don't use it. Use it. Mummy wouldn't want you to. Oh, sleep her out of this. She's not in the picture. And I just need to know if things got bad. There was Mummy wouldn't want your damn to... mother out of it. Quiet your questions. Darling, I don't use it. I haven't even seen it for years. Practically forgotten it even existed. There's no danger to us, I promise. I, I shouldn't even have mentioned it. All right, Daddy. Now let me see my, my little dove smile, eh? <coughs> oh, there it is. Mm. What a treat you are to me, my little songbird. Oh, come tell me, Sean O'Farrell. Tell me why you hurry so. Hush a buckle, hush and listen. And his cheeks were all aglow. I bear orders from the captain, get you ready quick and soon for the pipes must be together, together at the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon, for the pipes must be together at the rising of the moon. Christ. No, Daddy. Ah, the royal land. You're all right. Christ, is that the way you always knock? Is it your aim to cause heart attacks? Oh, easy on him, Daddy. I'm sorry, Da. I was worried as all. <laughs> Did you see my note? Note? I left you one. I guess I overlooked it. How long you been here? A couple of days. Christ, you need to pay more attention. It's a bit preoccupied, Da. How'd you find me here, then? The Gallagher's filled me in. So you didn't run into trouble, then? What kind of trouble? Never mind. It looks like I was worried over nothing. Old man, he sprung for the luxury suite. I see two beds. He finally seen someone. It's overdue, Dad. It served a bit trade. What kind of trouble? Ed with it, speak. All right. So all don't right, ever speak your mummy that way. The hell is wrong with you? You're too blind to know a worthless cunt when you're. Your daddy! Daughter. And after she killed my sister? I, I know about that. What, what, what do you think you know? Oh, Daddy, it doesn't matter. I understand why you didn't tell me. But she did tell me before she left, so I know. It was her big confession, aside from that thing with the other man of course. Aiden, what do you know? Daddy, don't make me say it. I know. I know that I, I have no memory of my own sister. I know my mum let her die. Oh, no. Daddy. I know I can't remember her because we were too little when she let her stare into that sickness while you. But you were stuck rotting in that filthy cell. Uh. Sweet Aaron. Why didn't you tell me? What in hell are you looking at? I'm sorry, I had to find that out, son. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. You have a right to know the sins of your own parents. Don't, don't take this on oh, yourself. I'm taking it, son. It's mine to have. Her name was Aaron, your sister. I know, Dad. Huh. You were far, you were twins. I know, I told you. Mom told me all about it. Oh, she used to. She used to sing to me so sweetly, you know, before they locked me up. And how she'd make me laugh when she'd sing the both of you to sleep. <laughs> she always made sure that you nodded off first and then she'd follow. <laughs> Are 
Our death is mine to confess. Da, don't do it to yourself. You were in jail on no evidence. Another innocent man <sighs> in prison. Not innocent. Their lack of condemning evidence doesn't make me guiltless. It was my actions led me there, and I must be held accountable. It's no secret I was IRA, even if they couldn't prove it. It's no crime to fight for a cause that is true. What cause? For the future of your family and the liberty of your people. Oh, Christ. To fight against oppression and violent action. To defend their right to live a decent human existence in this country. Aiden Campbell! Your mum did her best by. Yeah, bad things will happen, especially when you depend on a man who puts his pride before his family. Nobody letting her work being the, being the wife of a convicted IRA. It's a testament to her strength. She managed to keep you alive at least. Her strength and your stubbornness. She let my sister starve. That was me did that. You weren't there. Uh, exactly, I wasn't there. For, for you, for, for your mom, or for my Aaron. Oh, Daddy. Dad, what are you looking at? Don't, don't, don't be confused, son. I, I, I'm not the hero of this family. I was at the first marches. I, I, we spoke of non-violence and peaceful resistance then, basic freedoms for our Catholic brothers and sisters. One man, one vote, no more discrimination, no more gerrymandering and unfair representation. I believed in those causes, but it didn't make me a hero. Would you still believe in them? No. Not since our boys started looting and throwing petrol bombs and then blaming it on the unionists when innocent people lost their lives when it was them that started it, you Sometimes know. Sometimes it takes a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Bloody Sunday. Riots, Christ, bombings. <sighs> the troubles. <laughs> That's a sugar coating of a name if I ever heard one. There's no good comes from violence and vengeance, only escalation. And they got Catholics killing Catholics for Christ's sakes because they can't agree on what fucking initials to go by. It's escalation. We've been on the losing end of it all the way back and we always will be. Your damn foolish grandfather blew himself up in 57 and for what? For us. For us. For a border. Over a, a religion, over a name, fuck if I know what not for us. He served us proudly, as did you, Dad. As will I, as have I. What do you mean by that? I do what I must. Son. Not all of us can run away to live a coward's life. What was that trouble you were talking about before? Still haven't told me. It's nothing. Tell me, Aiden. UDA. They tore up the house. So they got the note. Oh, I see what's happening now. Hmm. Oh, Frankie approached me at the club during, at the pub during my shift a couple of nights ago. <sighs> yeah, something must be in the works if they're trying to pull me back in, but Eddie, I won't be a part of it. Hmm? You no, know, I'm sorry I brought you into this, but we need to leave this town tonight. The UDA are after me, Dad. I've joined the provisional three months now. I knew it. Found my gun in your room under a pillow. Oh, thank hey! God! Well, then he's got nothing on you. <laughs> Today you'll resign. I'm old enough to decide that for myself. I'm leaving this town tonight, and you're coming with me. Brought some of your clothes to you. Don't worry about me, Da. I'm with a good group of strong lads now. I'll be taken care of. I only come to see her all right and to warn you. I actually have to get back to uh, So you and some of these large, strong lads can go and retaliate tomorrow? It's much bigger than that, Da. Uh, is it really? I'm grown, Daddy. Are you now? Aye, and I made up my mind. Have you then? You can't stop me. Don't push it, Eddie. You coward. God, God, you, you fucking coward. You, Would you let go? Would you just calm down and listen to me? I will not calm down. I won't let my friends down. I will not flee the fate as you did, you damn Brit. Oh. Daddy, stop. Oh. You want to know why I fled the fight? In 1971, I was a couple of years younger than you. Just joined the provost because the old school boys were still preaching nonviolence and no, no peaceful solution was going to pacify me after the things I'd seen done to my people. I set up a bomb at a local shop run by Ned Collins. Real brutal cunt of a paisley-eyed loyalist piece of shite. 
unworthy of breathing as I saw it. I would send a message that would not be stood for. I would not let it be. That day, Ned lost his life, and the unlucky woman walking by lost her leg. And she lost the wee baby boy who was holding her hand. Couldn't have been more than three years of age. Next week came the response, more violence, more death. I did this, and you're the first to know about it. Ah, they may have falsely imprisoned me when they finally took me, but I deserve to be in jail nonetheless. I see that woman every other day on the street, with her crutch and her stump, and her empty eyes, and I rot no less a free man. God will forgive your sins. And I will take more care than you did. I'm going to be late. Yeah, you, you won't be protecting your family or your people or the memory of those lost. You'll only endanger those you love who remain. Come with me, I'm begging you now. You have the chance my sweet little learn never had. Don't throw it away. Come with me, we'll start over. I say, would they hurt? Would they kill? Are you absolutely sure you're one of the good guys there with that gun, eh, boy? You think the lads you'll be pointing that thing at will have a very different story than you? Uh, have you found your proper enemy there, boy? Give it up, give it up, boy. Oh, Dad, I, can... I can't let it be what they've done. My hatred will never subside. If you must hate, point the hate at me. Let it end there. Come with me now. Hit me next week. What about friends? My neighbors, my God, my, my culture, our history. Oh, fuck my... And pikes were flashing at the rising of the moon. There beside the same river that black mass of men was seen, high above their shining weapons, grew their own beloved green. Death to every foreign trader for to strike the matching tune. And to army boys for freedom, it is the rising of the moon. Is the rising of the moon, is the rising of the moon. And her army boys for freedom, is the rising of the moon. Well, they fought for poor old Ireland, and full bitter was their fate. What glorious pride and sorrow fills the name of 98. Yet thank God and still their beating hearts in manhood burning noon, who would follow in their footsteps at the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon, who would follow in their footsteps at the rising of the moon. <laughs> <laughs>